Gentlemen, I was going to talk a little bit about that meeting in Richmond, but a couple of the exchanges that just took place regarding the emails got my attention. So I'm going to ask a, a, a variety of questions to a group of you, uh, starting with you, um, Dr. Mario Rosso. You said that um, it was the Federal Records Act that was adopted in November of 2014 that, that um, prompted you to change your practice. Um, yet in June of 2014, which was before the Federal Records Act passed, you said, we stopped that practice about a year and a half ago because we realized how problematic it was, end quote. So tell me, if you're relying on the November 2014 changes to the law, why did you make your change 18 months before your June 2014 testimony? Well, first of all, Mr. Congressman, we uh, stopped using the, the, the emails, uh, given the exact date in March 2013. About 18 months before your June. So clearly the Federal Records Act changes in November 2014 had nothing to do with the change in your practice. I mean, that, that was what the White House requested for us to, uh, to, to comply with that. But again, and, we, and, we, and we comply with that. But previously you told Mr. Meadows that it was the, it was the Federal Records Act of 2014 that had nothing to do with your decision in March of 2013, right? No, of course okay. not. All right, now then it said that, um, that when Mr. Chaffetz asked you about why you did that, you said the board was telling me that I couldn't use my private, and then there was some talking over, I assume you were gonna say private email accounts. Is that fair? The board was telling me I couldn't use my private email accounts. Why did the board know it was against the rules, but you didn't? It was a general practice in the agency for people to use Gmails. Okay, uh, but that's not what arrived. you said. You said the board was telling me I couldn't use my, did Mr. Ehrlich tell you you couldn't use your emails? Mr. Ehrlich wasn't there. Okay, who was on the board at that time? Mr. Griffin, I believe. Okay, who told you at that, who on the board told you you could not use your private emails? It was problematic. No one really. And, and, and are you testifying or is it the guy behind you in the dark hair? <laughs> uh, the people that told me that, that, I mean, it wasn't a discussion about if, if we could or use or not use emails. It's simply that no, it was. naturally, it was. People, the board, naturally again, people will I'm use emails. I'm just reading your testimony. The board was telling me that I couldn't use my private, and we assume the next word is email. So I'm, I'm asking you, who on the board told you that? I have no recollection of that. Did you know that it was improper to use your private email accounts? At that time, no. Should you have known? I don't know. Probably I should. Were there other people on the board who knew it was inappropriate? Well, and again, I, I, is I, it the guy behind you who's giving you the answers? Or are you going to testify? Jen, am, sir, would you, would you identify the gentleman in the dark hair behind you, please? That gentleman is the general counsel of the agency. Okay. Is he testifying today? Is he under oath? Did he just feed you the answer to that you question that I gave the, you? The, the hearing here. I, Did he just tell you the answer to my question was no? Is that what he just said I to you? I didn't hear, no. You can't hear him at all? No, I couldn't Because we can hear, see no. him. Everybody can see him. I'm paying attention to you. I, 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 I so let's go my back, back to my question. You just said you didn't know it was inappropriate to use your emails in March of 2013. And I'm asking you, did any members of your board know it was inappropriate or problematic? I don't know. But then why did you tell Mr. Chaffetz in June of 2014 that the board was telling me I couldn't use my private emails? I mean, the, I, I, I made that statement because, as I said, it was a common practice for everybody to use it. So my Did you make the statement because it was a true statement? As far as I can tell, yes. So I'm asking you again, but the board didn't tell you you couldn't use your private emails. You've already said that. You can't remember anybody in the board telling you that. You can't identify anybody who knew it was against the rules. The board didn't tell you. It was, a, it was problematic, did they? I don't know one way or the other. I don't have any recollection of, of a dialogue on that issue. All right. Should you have known? Probably, yes. Were there anybody else at your agency that knew? Was there anybody else who knew it was problematic to use emails? I don't know. Okay. You retire in 15 weeks. By the way, Mr. Sullivan, did you ever come across any evidence that uh, Dr. Mario Rosso continued to use his private emails after he knew it was problematic or against the law or violations of the Federal Records Act? Yes, Mr. Mulvaney, okay. we did. Thank you very much. And I wish I had more time to explore that. Dr. Mario Rosso, you retire in 15 weeks. Do you believe that 
retiring bureaucrats who break the law should be entitled to their full retirement package? I am committed to see, to see the work of the Chemical okay. Safety Board finished. You believe? And I, I believe that the reports that we still have on the, on the, on, on, online have to I'm be finished. I'm not asking about that. I'm just asking your personal opinion. As a 30-year as a public servant, do you think that public servants who give misleading testimony to Congress should be entitled to their full retirement package? I don't have an opinion on that. Do you believe that any uh, lifetime bureaucrat who is held in contempt of Congress should be entitled to their full retirement package? I don't know which the lifetime bureaucrat you are referring to. I'm not a lifetime bureaucrat. Wait. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.